He's definitely acting like he's a good... Oh, there you go. Now we're talking. Get that baby in here. That's it. No, take your time. <laughs> we're getting we're getting there now. So you're nose hooking a four inch Cinco. Mm -hmm. We started out wacky rigging it, but you kind of on your own nose hooked it and you are making that work. Welcome back to Mark Fisher Outdoors, everybody. I am so excited about this episode because I love fishing inside weed lines. And what you just saw there was one fish catch from a veteran trip that I took last week out on Hague Quarry. And a real, real special thanks to the people at Hague Quarry for letting me get out there specifically to take these two veterans out on your excellent fishery that you have there. We had a lot of fun. But what that was, was an example of us just fishing an inside weed line and we they were just loaded on that. And so I'm gonna talk a little bit about how to fish inside weed lines and what to look for when you're trying to to fish those and this is a great time of year to be doing that because the weeds have come up the water's hot and that combination that mixture between the rocks and the inside weed line especially in the morning is a great place to be looking for fish guys before i get to that i would like to ask you to hit that subscribe button and and, and i'd like you to think about this if you are not a subscriber we put out content Monday through Friday. It's a combination of fishing tips, news about the industry, news from within the industry, things like that, things to help you with fishing, boating, outdoors in general. Um, so if that's something that you would like, hit that subscribe button and that notification button. We appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything. And we've got a lot of great information. We'd like you to be part of the Mark Fisher Outdoors community. So let's get to talking about inside weed lines. So I'm gonna show this diagram, and this diagram is pretty much what we were looking at when we were out on Hague Quarry. And Doug here was throwing a drop shot with a Cinco. And so what would happen is the he would work that Cinco, which as he said in the video was nose hooked, and he would work that down the rock bank. And as that drop shotted Cinco got to the point where it would work down the bank to the edge of the inside weed line, those fish were just congregated right there. And because it was a drop shot, those fish that were in the weed, it was basically coming right to them at, at their eye level. And we, we got several, several fish, probably a, close to 10 fish out of a short bank that had that inside weed line on it. So what I was doing, how I've been catching them, I let a pendulum down. Yeah. And just as the weight is hitting the top of the grass or the rocks, depending on where I'm at, they're hitting them. They're hitting it right on that edge. Yeah. Four. And guys, we've talked about this. There are tons of ways to fish these inside weed lines, depending on the depth. As Doug proved, a... A drop shot is a great technique. A wacky rig Cinco uh, weightless is a great technique. Um, a floating worm can, can work. You can even work moving baits. And one of the techniques to fish the inside weed line rather than fishing it perpendicular like we were is if you can get in, you can actually work the inside weed line parallel to the bank. So you're working that entire weed line in between the bank and the weed line. 
Inside weed lines are some of the best places to find bass. And again, especially in the morning and in the evening times. But this was a particular day where those fish catches that we were catching here that we're showing you were in the middle of the day. And so a deeper weed line with rocks and in about 10 feet of water, they were hold, those fish were holding and it was, it was the middle of the day. Guys, we hope you found this information helpful. We appreciate you tuning in and we will be back again tomorrow for another episode of Mark Fisher Outdoors. Tomorrow's Wednesday. That means we're going to be back in the pool doing an underwater Wednesday. We hope you'll join us. We'll see you then. Take care, everybody.